Hey, it's Cliff, and yeah, if you cannot tell, I did not sleep very well, but that's okay. I picked up a, some kind of generic energy drink from Aldi's, Gridlock, never heard of that one, but you know, it was cheap, right? And this is an investing channel, so we try to keep our costs down, so it seems to work out perfectly. On this video, I'm just gonna try and update you on where I'm at now. Uh, basically, I moved, which didn't allow me to post for a very long time on this finance channel. As you can see, my setup is completely new. Hopefully people like it. I think it's an improvement from what I had. Also, it's raining in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, so just looking at my channel, I can pull it up here. Besides this little new studio setup video, I haven't posted since March 26. So it's been four months or so since my last video. Now that I have moved and successfully set up my studio here, I can begin to make videos again. So as the camera was set up, everything was going, I kind of sat down with my YouTube channel. I was like, okay, well, now I need some creativity. What do I want to post now? I pretty strictly was posting about crypto, which on this channel, I love posting about crypto. I think crypto is the most interesting of financial assets that you can post about, mainly because it's riddled with scams and riddled with people that make a lot of money off of these uh, different small meme coins or crypto, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So typically you're not gonna find something like that in investing in I don't know, houses or you know trying to flip houses or something like that. You know, it's just not as interesting. And the more interesting a video is, obviously the better it's gonna do on YouTube and the more fun it's gonna be for me to research. But the other part of this YouTube channel was to map out my path to financial independence and achieving that for myself. So as I sat down, I got a good chance to look at my bills, look at where I'm at, and just kind of think of where I need to go to achieve that financial independence. And I just tried recording this video and didn't clear my memory card on my camera. So of course, the entire 15 minute long video didn't get recorded and now I gotta try this again starting from here. So I think where I left off, I was saying the biggest flaw in my budget was that I haven't bought a house yet. I think when people look at their budget, probably the biggest expense that they're facing is probably either rent or their mortgage. And I've been in a position where I've moved around a lot, so I've pretty much always rented. I've no, I've, I've rented my entire life. So now when I start thinking about financial independence, I'm thinking about how can I remove a rent payment from my budget and that will allow me to free up so much more money to invest or do more fun activities, you know, whatever I need to do to achieve my financial independence. I think most Americans are looking at that bill and thinking if I didn't have that payment, there would be so much more that I could do with my life as far as 401k crypto investing, or just buying essential things that they need, you know, it'd be so much easier to deal with a washer breaking down. And you have that money that is still incoming from your financial independence life or the job that you're still working from. So this part going forward, I am not investing in crypto, I haven't invested in crypto probably for like the last year or so I have not bought any crypto. And now that I am moved and settled here, the way I would like to position myself is to have a down payment on a house so we can start thinking about removing that payment from our budget. I think a lot of people criticize Dave Ramsey, you know, me included. I had plenty of videos where I've criticized Dave Ramsey for his flawed 8%, 12% withdrawal method or whatever he was preaching. But one of the good things about Dave Ramsey is he does understand the concept that debt usually is bad. Um, I think we would both agree that a mortgage is okay because you're building equity, but a lot of people that are uh, using credit cards irresponsibly, obviously that person shouldn't be using a credit card. Now I use credit cards, but I know that I'm responsible financially and I'll pay it off. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm somebody that can be in a position that can get those credit card rewards and be okay. Not everybody's like that. And Dave Ramsey's built an entire platform on those people who are really poor at managing money. So again, where I agree with Dave Ramsey, if you do have a paid off house, there's some things in your life that are not gonna cause you financial stress. Say if you are working a job and you get laid off, but you have a paid off house, you're probably fine. 
you're, it's not as big of doom and gloom. You know the property you're sitting in is paid off and you have a little bit of savings, you're probably fine. And that's a big relief. And I think that ties into the FIRE community. Um, it's all about taking pressure out of your life, uh, bad pressure, not necessarily good pressure, and um, you know, just enjoying your life. And I think for myself, if I can get in a position where I have a paid off house, I will be in a way better position now, with that said, I just moved. I'm still working on getting to a position that I can do that. So that's where I'm going uh, forward in my financial independence journey. I just got here. I don't even have a job yet. I'm still looking. So we have a big road ahead of us, but I like to kind of plan out in the future. Where do I want to be? Where am I going to just have a map to achieve something? Now, even though I'm not necessarily investing in crypto right now, I'm still probably gonna make crypto videos because I, again, find the topic interesting. I know a lot of people are upset about the price of crypto. I did hear that it was around like 60K. I have not checked the prices since I've moved. So it's, I've been completely out of the crypto market, just looking at it. I don't stress about it for a good four months, don't care. If there is a massive bull run, I'm sure I'm gonna hear about it. Somebody's gonna kind of poke me and say, look at these crazy prices because crypto bull markets are that intense that we're, you're gonna know, you're not gonna be outside the know. So I haven't looked at it at all. Last time I did look at the market, I wanna say it was around 70K. Let me see the Bitcoin price right now, actually. So yeah, it was 70K when I looked at it. Right now it's 57.8. So a lot of people are upset with the crypto market right now because we just had the Bitcoin happening and people were expecting by now the price was gonna skyrocket and it's gone down since then. I got an article here from Forbes Advisor and they say Bitcoin having 2024, not with a bang, but with a whimper. And it quotes that the Bitcoin happening was April 19 of this year and still nothing's happened besides the price going down. So people are upset. I don't think that's something you should stress about. If you made your investment, you're committed to it already and you just gotta sit back and wait. That's what I'm doing. I'm holding my crypto. I'm gonna sit back and wait. Hopefully we get that nice bull run and then if it goes up quite a bit, I'm selling this time. I'm completely cashing out and I'll have a nice down payment on my house, which will help me move into that financial independence territory. Now, when it comes to YouTube, I really enjoy making these crypto videos. I love making finance investing videos, even though when they venture off the crypto topic, they don't do as well unless I'm criticizing somebody because people love drama. But, um, but I've been monetized on YouTube for about, I don't know, two years now or so. This channel doesn't make a lot of money. I think I've made probably like 500 bucks over the uh, two years I've been monetized. And a lot of that was reinvested in equipment just to make better videos. But when I start thinking of this YouTube channel as a business, I started thinking, okay, what do I want to do? What can I compound from this business? So as I keep making my videos, because I enjoy it, I'm sure there's going to be some YouTube ad revenue coming in. So my plan for that is to make another side business from that. Now I'm somebody who obviously, like I showed you, I love caffeine. I'm really a, a big coffee drinker. I've already had two cups of coffee this morning. Um, and that's probably why I don't sleep well, but that's okay. So I started thinking, I want to make my own coffee business. I want to have my own product, my own label, my own logo, the whole nine yards. And I came up with an idea that I want to have a coffee business called Hardwired Horror. It is kind of like a horror themed coffee brand because as you guys can see, if I don't have my caffeine, I'm a zombie. I think the packaging will kind of focus around that like horror, uh, horror theme. I'm a big fan of horror movies as well, if you don't know, love them, absolutely. Any kind of slasher film that you can throw at me or video games too, I'm definitely into it. So I'm gonna put the logo up here. This is the design that I have so far. Let me know what you think of the name of the company. Let me know what you think of that logo. And then when I think of like bag design, I'm thinking like zombies or something coming out of it. I'm not really sure yet, I haven't decided on that, but you know, something horror themed. If you have any experience with selling any kind of products like this, please let me know down in the comments because it's something that I haven't ventured out into. I'm just a guy who loves coffee and you know, who doesn't want their own coffee brand if you love coffee, right? But with that said, I don't have enough money from this YouTube channel yet to invest in this coffee brand. So I'm gonna keep grinding videos until I do have 
the money to kind of offset that price. That's pretty much all I got in this video. I just wanted to give you an update. I want to thank the people that who are continuing to stick around and watch my videos, even after me not posting for four months and dealing with me moving to a different location and the setup that went into this and all, all the time that it took. So if you're still watching videos that I make, I appreciate it quite a bit. Just wanted to kind of give the rundown of you know the business i want to start with the coffee i'm still going to make the videos that people like when it comes to sologenic and corium or bitcoin or ripple you know all that i'm going to keep doing that i'm going to keep criticizing dave ramsey probably <laughs> and um yeah any kind of financing topics that i find interesting as i get into buying a house maybe i'll do some videos on that for people that aren't experienced like me in buying houses how to strategically build up your down payment that's pretty much it thank you all for watching